finish there. Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Show. In this video, I'm going to present the five most common bench press mistakes updated version. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, so I've made videos like this and you've seen videos like this before, but this one's a little bit different. So uh, please make sure to watch it to the end. These five updated mistakes are things that I've learned during my years of coaching. Uh, back in the day, you know, 10, 15 years ago, when I talked about bench mistakes, it was mostly from just watching the worldwide interwebs and internet forums and stuff like this. These five mistakes come directly from years and years of client coaching. So there's something I see over and over and over again. So let's dive into it. Number one, grip too close. I see so many benchers that are benching with more of a close grip bench press and thinking it's a normal grip. They don't know any better, it's not their fault. Uh, they, they, they just kind of grab the bar wherever and bench. The problem is um, twofold. When you're benching that close, generally it's a lot more triceps and chest. As you push out a little bit, you get a little bit better balance between the triceps and chest. So they tend to have more of a tricep centric bench. Secondly, when they go to do close grip bench, they're doing the old school, you know, super close and it's really hard on the elbows and shoulders and they're not very strong on that variation. All right, number two, uneven grip. If you watch where the, uh, the smooth is, uh, the smooth breaks on the knurling, you watch this closely on bench press videos on YouTube or on Instagram, you'll see little variations. They're generally not huge, but a lot of lifters aren't watching where they place their hands to make sure they're even relative to the smooth or ring on a barbell. So make sure you're doing this. Small little differences don't seem like a big thing, but when you're lowering, they can cause you to twist and turn in the hole. And this is something that's very common on squats as well. You'll see a little bit of torso shift or hip shift. You don't want that kind of pressure on your bench press. One session like that's probably okay, but if you continue to do that over time, you're gonna put yourself in harm's way. All right, number three, dive bombing. <laughs> no control during the eccentric. Uh, the guys might have the strength, like here, here's how it goes. You unrack and it's like boing, right? Bouncing it off your chest. Now the bounce doesn't have to be extreme, but a dive bomb is just like, just like dropping out of an airplane, right? There's no tightness, there's no control. Uh, and even if you're not bouncing it off your chest, generally you're going too rapid and you don't have, you don't have tightness and control. There is some, some believe, there is a belief among some that, um, if you control your bench, you're losing strength, like you're wasting energy. Not true at all. You want to control that eccentric. You want to be in control. You don't want to beat up your joints over the course of 20, 30 years benching. So you want to have a reasonable control during the eccentric. You want to develop that habit. All right, number four, and this is something that can be, uh, that's driven by paralysis, uh, analysis by paralysis. Guys that approach the bench with 274 form cues and like watching their setup is like watching some complex calculus problem and they get all set up and they got the extreme bench and they got all these things going on and uh, it's really hard. They're like over tight. They over worry. They over form, so to speak. The bench, you want good quality, you know, tightness, but you don't need to over set up. A lot of times the stuff you're seeing on the internet, you know, all these extreme form cues and bench setup, they're best for a single or double. It's hard to sustain that degree of tightness. You have over a long muscle building set, you know, of eight to 12 reps. It's easier to maintain that super tightness, that super one rep max tightness, you know, for a rep or two. There are two types of bench form. There's bench form for your one rep max where you're trying to, you know, get the super set up and get everything set. And then you have your basic training setup, which is just about, um, you know, being tight and not, you know, not making major mistakes like flaring your elbows and bouncing the bar off your chest. You know, basic bench press form doesn't have to be overly complex and you don't have to turn your bench into some extreme, extreme 
string of 274 form cues. Guys like me and Faz and Alpha Destiny, we bench pretty much in a very simple manner. I'm not overly complex, right? I try to just get set up on my upper back, try to push my hips and my back together, and then when I lower it, I kind of row the bar down. Super simple. And number five, the biggest, most common bench press mistake, and this is one of the biggest, the no spotter excuse. I didn't have a spotter, so I didn't push sets to the limit. Number one, I hate this excuse. Find a damn spotter. It's a gym. <laughs> Just step out of your comfort zone. Talk to someone. Actually, talk to a human. Talk to a mouth breather. Develop a relationship and have them spot you. Or number two, if you're too uncomfortable with that, watch your bench reps. When your speed slows during a press, if it slows at all, that means the next rep, 99% of the time, you're going to fail. So pay attention to your bench reps. You're going along, and then you hit a rep where it's like a little bit slower. When that happens, that's like shut it down. Shut it down because a loss of speed on a rep means the next one, you're going to fail. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.